सब्सक्राइब करिए शॉर्ट एंड डिक्टेशन चैनल को और दबाइए इस बेल आइकन को ताकि आपको मिले लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट वी फाइंड दैट द प्रॉब्लम्स अराइजिंग देयर आर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ ए न्यू वाइटैलिटी एंड नॉट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ ए डेकडेंट पीपल दे आर द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ ए न्यू लाइफ एमर्जिंग आई रेफर्ड टू दी कॉन्गो एंड देयर इज द नियर बाय कंट्री ऑफ अंगोला अंडर पोर्चुगीज रूल अपार्ट फ्रॉम द थियोरिटिकल क्वेश्चन ऑफ कॉलोनिज्म from the practical point of view what we have heard of events in angola has been distressing in the extreme we can imagine how much it must distress people in africa i earnestly hope that this remnant of colonialism will also peacefully change there are other colonial problems of course there is algeria i can only say that the terrible suffering which the people of algeria have undergone during the last 8 years must find fulfillment i am sure they will but i would hope that they will do so soon and that the story of their agony should not drag i do not think that at this stage of the world's history it has become impossible for the colonies to continue without creating complications which may lead to major conflicts in the world the world is facing even greater problems of survival of war and peace the choice today before the world is a choice which has never been posed before it is a choice of self extinction or survival many people think and talk about escaping from the disaster of a nuclear war by living underground and living like rats in a hole it is surely a strange commentary on our times that we should be driven to that conclusion instead of directing all our energies and all our strength to the prevention of that catastrophe there are basic problems before us which i believe are capable of solution because i am convinced that no country deliberately desires war i am convinced that the people all over the world are passionately in favor of peace there is the problem of disarmament i am convinced that the modern world cannot continue for long without full disarmament it is perhaps true ultimately that the material advance which has taken place in the world and which is magnificent has gone far ahead of the development of the human mind a mind which look behind and think in terms of how nations functioned and wars occurred a hundred or 200 years ago does not fit in with the modern age as such